And we're back. Neil Isaacs, the Raleigh business broker, producing some content for business intermediaries, people that are looking to get into the field of serving business owners in the sale of their business, maybe existing business intermediaries, maybe business owners who want to understand what business intermediaries do. Uh, on this channel, I produce a lot of content for business owners, business advisors, business buyers, and uh, and also more more so people that are are looking to to join this field. So I've been a bit intermediary for for a while now. I'm also a real estate investor, so I, I I love to buy homes, and I'm fascinated by real estate brokerage versus business brokerage. So today, I want to talk about finding business owners in the challenge versus finding real estate properties. Now, I'm a, I'm a fan of Bigger Pockets. Bigger Pockets is the largest real estate podcast and forum in the world for for uh, individual investors. It's not like corporate investors, and that's that's the beauty of of real estate investing and small business. They have that in common. That uh, mom and pop shops you can still own a small business in real estate or in traditional small business, whether it's retail or a small service business. But finding business owners is more challenging than finding real estate. And it makes it really hard um, to find owners that may need your services if you're an intermediary. So it, it dawns on me that, uh, you know, I was listening to this, uh, one of these Bigger Pockets episodes. They're talking about if you want to sell or buy homes that are owned by out-of-state owners that are 10 they've owned them for 10 years and they are in a very narrow zip code and in foreclosure there are list sources for that available and it's because real estate is publicly recorded there's in every state there's places where the government keeps up with deeds and and you have to register property with with the government now you do uh, pivoting over to small business. It's much harder to find that type of information publicly because business ownership is private. It's also hard to know about the value of businesses. It's there's a lot of estimations of how much revenues that businesses do, how many employees they have. Outside of like a Dun and Bradstreet, there are a lot of list providers, but they're they're estimates. They're not great. And it's very hard to get that granular type of information that's publicly available for real estate for small businesses. We do this at our firm, looking for the best lists to have our callers reach out to, to, to send mail to, just to let those business owners know that we are available to serve them. But uh, if you're if you're an intermediary, if you're a business, if you want to get into selling businesses and maybe you're used to setting up campaigns to find homeowners, just know that it is uh, it's harder to to find these businesses. And here's another thing: real estate is uh, is not a person. I know that's an obvious statement, but um, there's no emotion, there's no feelings with a house. Maybe it needs new siding or carpets. It, it's a fact. But with with businesses, you're talking about owners who built something from scratch. They they handpicked their team, they groomed them, and they built. They built this, this talent. They have personal relationships with their team. The monies that they make, they worked very, very hard to, to build up that book of business. Their customers, they have relationships with their customers. So this whole emotional aspect when it comes to serving business owners that is absent in, in, in commercial real estate investing, there's definitely a lot of emotion tied into to buying someone's home. Uh, both, both of them, we're talking about selling a, a significant asset, whether it's a home or a business. But business brokerage is very much a people business. I, I say sometimes that in business brokerage, we are, we are putting buyers and owners together after screening them and careful matchmaking. And we want to, the buyer has a lot of questions for the owner and the owner only wants to talk to a qualified buyer. And that buyer owner meeting is super, super important. That's the opposite of what real estate agents do. 
if the real estate is showing the house, they tell the homeowner to get far, far away, right? Because the business, the real estate buyer is looking at the house, not, not the person who built the house. Fundamental differences between business brokerage and real estate brokerage. But the pur purpose of this video is more about the data. There's, it's harder to get that real data of that business owner that has a, a legitimate reason for sale and has a viable business and needs the services of an intermediary. I hope that's interesting to you. I find this stuff fascinating. If you want to talk more about business brokerage, if you want to sell a business, if you want to get into the field, we just did a um, some content with the IBBA, and I would encourage you to check that out at IBBA.com. This is me, Liza. It's the Raleigh Business Broker. Thanks for watching.